In this video, I wish to discuss a study which was undertaken by the University of California, which is titled SARS-CoV-2 mRNA Vaccination Associated Myocarditis in Children Ages 12 to 17. The study objectives were establishing the rate of post-vaccination cardiac myocarditis in the 12 to 15 and 16 to 17 year old population. It analysed data from the US Vaccine Adverse Event Reporting System between the 1st of January and the 18th of June this year and looked to quantify the risk of myocarditis after the mRNA vaccine, which of course includes Pfizer. The study found that boys aged 12 to 15 years old who were double jabbed had 162 cardiac adverse events per million. It also found that over a 120 day period for boys aged between 12 and 15 years old, the rate of CAE, which is cardiac adverse events, was between 3.7 and 6.1 times higher than their risk of being hospitalised with COVID-19. This paper was published as a preprint on the 8th of September. Whilst it has not yet been peer reviewed, it should cause parents to pause and reflect. As this is not a paper written by some fringe scientists, it is a study undertaken by the University of California and was even widely reported in the mainstream media. Such as in the Telegraph on the 9th of September, teenage boys more at risk from vaccines than COVID. Teenage boys are six times more likely to suffer from heart problems from the vaccine than be hospitalized from COVID-19, a major study has found. Researchers found that the risk of heart complications for boys aged 12 to 15 following the vaccine was 162 per million. Meanwhile, the risk of a healthy boy needing hospital treatment owing to COVID-19 in the next 120 days is 26 per million. This means the risk they face from heart complications is 6.1 times higher than that of hospitalisation, by which they mean hospitalisation due to COVID-19. The study was also reported in The Guardian on the 10th of September. Boys more at risk from Pfizer jab side effects than COVID suggest study. Healthy boys may be more likely to be admitted to hospital with a rare side effect of the Pfizer-BioNTech COVID vaccine that causes inflammation of the heart than with COVID itself, US researchers claim. Their analysis of medical data suggests that boys aged 12 to 15 with no underlying medical conditions are four to six times more likely to be diagnosed with vaccine-related myocarditis than ending up in hospital with COVID over a four-month period. The study has also been reported in the world-renowned British Medical Journal. On the 14th of September, it reported, COVID-19, boys are more at risk of myocarditis after vaccination than of hospital admission for COVID. Now that the government has decided to roll out the COVID vaccine for children aged 12 and above, studies such as this need to be urgently discussed. Myocarditis is sometimes reported in the media as an almost trivial condition, but it really isn't. If cardiac cells die, then they do not repair themselves. The body does not regenerate cardiac cells, they are irreplaceable. Instead, scar tissue forms, which years later can lead to heart failure, which has significant associated mortality. Furthermore, myocarditis can cause a cardiac arrhythmia, which is certainly no trivial condition and indeed can be fatal. It is not known whether vaccine-induced myocarditis has a better or worse outcome than viral-induced myocarditis. It is simply unknown at this stage. What is also not known is how many cases of subclinical myocarditis occur after the vaccine, which may not cause symptoms in the child until much later down the line. Now I'm not anti-vax and I do not wish to promote fear amongst parents. I make this video to share some new scientific literature so that parents can weigh up for themselves what is best for their child. This is about informed consent, which is a cornerstone of medical ethics.